Well, good evening. I, uh, decided to give an update. Uh, I got a lot of footage, uh, for doing that, uh, broken pipe situation, uh, under the crawl space there. We find out exactly what it was. Um, and I, I wanted to kind of apologize because I'm now realizing it that uh, I probably were built, I, you know, that that's not as uh, bad of a crawl space as it could be. Um, but I, you know, for me, it it's a pain in the butt um, because my back is not a is not good it i've got herniated discs um i've got uh disc degenerative disease that uh, the doctor has uh said that it was advanced and uh, so it 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 does make it kind of hard for me um because uh if i'm stuck in 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 a, a position for a long time it it kind of causes me a lot of pain uh unless i'm laying down i don't know that's I, yeah i did about three or four years uh bed bed rest basically uh so i got off the uh pain medication and uh yeah um now I'm kind of getting a little bit better. I mean, the pain isn't as bad um, as what it was when I was taking it. It's 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 kind of crazy stuff. The uh, I I would have said that hey I I'm not addicted to this or that or blah blah blah. But the truth of the matter was is my body was addicted, but mentally i didn't realize that so you know it it, it was a <laughs> yeah well now i know but uh we're moving along you know better than what it was a couple of years ago i mean i'm happy um but uh it still does hurt. It still does give me some trouble. Um, it's not gone. The pain is always there. But sometimes it's not as bad. Sometimes it's bearable. Like uh, the other day when I did the uh, crawl space video that... Uh, kind of built up that now that I'm looking back at it, I'm thinking, you know, a, a normal guy or a normal person, um, because could be a female doing the job, I don't know. Um, and I empower. I mean, that's cool. That's, that's a good thing to know. Um, uh, you know, so I encourage women to do it too. I mean, it's up to you. You know, you make that decision to say, hey, you know, I want to do this. And I'm going to learn how to do it and I'm going to do it. I admire that. Um, but anyhow, um, this is just an update uh, to uh, that video. I, I've got about three hours about three hours of footage and and i was uh using about three cameras at a time at one point and uh you know it all that footage kind of overwhelming <laughs> i i've never done it before like that you know I, i've never done the uh um editing of so many clips and so much uh, wasted time that was 
filmed, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I'm going through that. Um, this morning I, uh, I filmed a little bit, uh, of the trees. They're in their, uh, bloom, or at least they're starting to bloom. Uh, our apricot is, uh, full bloom. Our first peach, <clears throat> it is, uh, showing its flowers. It's showing a beautiful pink color, uh, of course you'll see that. Uh, I'll, I'll tag that on to the end of this video here. Um, you'll, uh, you'll kind of, I hope you'll enjoy the beauty of the, uh, um, flowers on the trees and my favorite time of the year uh, would have to be this time uh, I mean uh, not for the weather no but for the uh, for the beauty yes but uh, I'm I'm kind of a sucker for beauty things of beauty you know things that look beautiful um, kind of makes you thank God for what, what you've got, you know what I mean, it, it just makes you feel like, hey, God created that for us to admire, you know, nature, um, nature is beautiful, uh, but it can be ugly at times, that's for sure too, uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd give an update. And, uh, let you know that I'm working at that, uh, if, uh, anybody is curious. I, I haven't got very many, uh, people watching just yet. It's kind of, I hope that it, uh, gets better, uh, because that would be cool. Um, I, I could reach so many mother, any other you know, so many other people that uh, could use some of the knowledge that I can show. And, uh, you know, that that's, uh, I, I think that's a good thing. So, um, oh, by the way, uh, this, uh, if it looks like I'm in an RV, because I am in an RV right now. Um, I come out here to hang out every once in a while. Um, I, uh, you know, this is just hang out. Um, sit down, relax. Uh, but anyway, I'm about on full space on this phone. So uh, enjoy the uh, beautiful trees. Uh, we'll talk at you next time. See ya. This branch we're looking at the peach this uh, see the little flowers starting to come out of the bud that's what I was saying the trees kind of not as it's kind of unruly <laughs> uh, our apple right here I don't have any blossoms or anything it's just shooting uh, leaves but anyhow <coughs> I think this was a plum well there used to be a plum right here we cut it down and it looks like we've got shoots from around it uh, it's a stump uh, we've been throwing our leaves and mulch and all that, trying to get it to compost for the last couple of years. Um, so, um, I think that is a plum, but I'm not sure. Um, these are just shoot-ups that really we didn't really want. Cherry tree, I was saying she's still trying to recover i don't know if how well you can see all that uh 
my I can't really see in that screen as well but yeah the tree is just in recovery mode we had to cut it because that's our power line that goes over it and uh, so we had to do that uh, these are raspberry here this tree here is an apricot and it looks like it's going through our uh, power line too and uh, yeah I can't uh, shine that or get a good view without the sun blocking the uh, her sun blocking out your uh, vision but anyhow uh, yeah this is a raspberry raspberry bush uh, this may be a cherry but it, I don't know I think that actually no that that did have to be a apricot or something um, but anyhow this is the other plum that, that I uh, gave uh, Miracle Grow, and I, yeah, she's she's little, but she's pretty straight. I'm trying to get her going. She's got leaves starting to shoot out, so I don't I don't think. Uh, we're going to get any uh, plums just yet. I need to prune off this uh, this branch, it looks like. This one's pretty much dead. I uh, decided to go this direction instead of this direction. <laughs> anyway, uh, here's our other peach tree. It... Uh, Yeah, it doesn't have any exposed blossoms like the other tree does. Now this tree usually it gets uh it gets the it's the first one to freeze cuz the wind is coming from out here this direction coming back towards the north and uh you know, go around the buildings and all that, and well, it hits this one before it hits that one over there. But that one over there, for some reason, always gets uh, froze. Um, been a couple years since we've had some pretty good uh, uh, peaches and apples, and well, last year we had apples, uh, a lot of apples. Uh, had maybe two or three peaches off of this tree right here. Um, I don't want that sun to be making it to where you can't see. But anyway, that's our other peach. Um, anyhow, I thought I'd kind of give you a little view of uh, what we've got here uh, in a small town <laughs> we uh, got a couple of trees uh, uh, yeah this apple tree is not uh, throwing any flower just yet uh, right there is just probably I think there's a flower bud in there but I'm not sure um, it may just be leaves I don't I yeah I don't really know um, anyhow uh, this peach we've gotten worried that it was just gonna die but uh, 
you know that branch there just doesn't seem like it's the healthiest but you know what the funny thing is is look at all this growth all this uh those buds and everything that's shooting out on this branch even though it's in rough shape i mean dried out along here but uh i guess it's still got a got a uh good stream of water going up that uh, limb there uh it's even throwing some sap uh yeah then while i was walking over there i noticed look at this beautiful sight there i don't know if i can get it to focus really well on that but that's beautiful isn't it yeah you gotta love trees I've got some beauty when they're just blooming away. Beautiful things. Nature. You gotta love it. Beautiful stuff. And there's some uh, seeds in the dirt couple days it's uh anyhow that's what we're gonna have hopefully these here come up i've never tried to grow them uh marigolds we got pepper we got sugar baby watermelon we got six of those Two, two uh, varieties of tomato. We've got cherry tomato and rootgers. I've got way more uh, seed though. A lot more seed um, that needs to go in there and dirt. But uh, I gotta thank my mom for keeping these nice and watered. I forget. I am very forgetful. And so, God bless her for watering them for me. And, you know, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, they're. Yeah. That watermelon over there, probably. Oh, yeah. Yeah, square. Yeah. That one, uh, kind of worried about it because it wasn't with all the others, but, no. eh, I think it'll do. No, Hopefully this year we'll get some watermelons. No. Uh, last year we had a teeny, teeny, tiny one <laughs> that, uh, I found it, uh, uh, with a crack in the side of it and no. I had to. Yeah, I had to just cut it off and cut my losses. But this year we're we're hoping for sugar babies. Um but we'll see. Well, uh I'll uh, keep you updated. You have a good one now.